Gary Simon here. So today we're going to check out usability testing with the help of something called maze.design. That's the actual URL. No, this is not a sponsored video, but I saw this uh, site in the service and I thought it was really cool. And here's why. When we're a UI designer and even like a beginner UX designer, sometimes we make assumptions about our designs and we don't do any user testing before we actually have it converted, you know, or we hand it off to a front end developer for HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And we just assume because it looks pretty and um, because we can personally use it and it works well, we make the assumption that everybody else can. And that's a flawed mindset. So where Maze comes in, is it allows you to take your prototypes that you create in Figma, XD, and Vision Studio, Mar or Sketch, and Marvel. You can paste them in here, and it allows you to create basically a test platform where you can have test subjects, people who haven't used your app yet, and it helps you gain valuable insights as they actually work through the prototype and you create a set of what are called missions. You can get feedback from them based on those missions and it's just a really cool platform. So that's why I wanted to cover it. So I'm gonna show you how to set up one yourself so that you can start really maximizing uh, the, your site's UX essentially. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Linode. Now as a front-end developer or a designer, you know that you need a personal portfolio. And if you use a website builder like Wix or Squarespace, they lack total customization and they lock you into using their platform. But to be a pro, you need to use the tools that the pros actually use. So level up, start building your own projects and your own portfolio on an enterprise level content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now, real web development sometimes requires knowledge of spinning up servers, managing domain names, and setting up an occasional staging environment. And there's no better or simpler way to learn the ins and outs of hosting your website than with Linode Cloud Hosting. Linode Cloud Hosting makes it as easy as possible for you to deploy a WordPress or Drupal website in seconds with a free Linode one-click app marketplace. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description to get your free Linode account along with $20 of free hosting and all the tools that you need to build enterprise class websites. What happened to my body? Oh, I'm wearing a green shirt. I know if I didn't mention it, you guys would mention it as if I didn't already know. I'm very lazy. I didn't feel like changing my green shirt. All right, it doesn't matter. You don't need, really need to see my torso anyhow. So well, I didn't feel like creating, because I'm also lazy, a brand new prototype just to demonstrate the fee, the majors, the, the majors of fees, the features of Maze. And uh, so I did a Google search for free Figma templates. I came up with this one at dribble.com from Slab Design Studio right there. And I thought it was pretty well designed. It's just a few screens that you can use for whatever purpose. Um, so this is it opened up in Figma. So of course, you don't have to use Figma. You can use other prototyping tools. I, If we come over to maze.design, you'll see that I, you know, you can use Figma. It says XD, but I tried pasting in an XD prototype and hit get started. And then it just told me it XD isn't supported yet. I'm not sure why XD is shown there, um, but also Envision Studio, Sketch, and Marvel. All right, so I, I chose to use um, Figma because I'm pretty familiar with it anyhow. So what you need to do is first, I these artboards didn't have any prototyping between them enabled. So we're gonna switch to prototype. And let's say that um, we wanna test how easy a person can find a course for one of the actual tests. So first, this is the initial screen that will get started. So we'll make the get started button go over to the main user interface where it says fundamentals courses, and this is a course, and this is a course, all right? So then we want them to be able to click this course and go to the course details page right here, all right? And then finally, we'll probably do another test where I we ask them to exit out and go back to the main app user interface. So this is kind of how the usability kind of testing thing works. I uh, you, you ask people to try to complete certain tasks that will need to be uh, executed in the app. Uh, and you ask them, how easy is it? Is it? And you can ask them all sorts of things and, and you'll see. Um, but this is all I'm gonna do for the, the uh, wireframing. So then we click on share and then we copy the link right there. Now, we go back to Maze and we're gonna create a new project. We're gonna create, uh, we have validate your prototypes with Maze user testing. All right, we're gonna do this one right here. 
All right, so we paste it in and hit create. And it's gonna work in about a couple seconds. Hopefully it will refer back over. There we go. And this is the main user interface that you have to work from. So I uh, over here, we kind of have what's gonna be the flow. So we have different blocks. This is a block and it's a, a type of mission. Um, there's different uh, block types here. We have mis mission, we have yes or no. Um, right here, we're gonna start off with a default mission and the task title is gonna be right here. So we can put in, um, our first mission is to have them click and find the first course that they see, I guess. So find a course. So now we can just put in um, visit the first course you see and read the details or something like that. I'm thinking of this off the top of my head. I would, I would word this better normally. Um, and now what you have to do, you can see here it says expected paths. So path one by default has uh, right here this, um, the home screen right here, this get started. So you can either click on your prototype to de designate the next path or the next page that you want them to, to go to in the path, or you can change your starting screen right here by clicking this button. But we want this to be the starting screen. So we're gonna hit get started right there. And then we're also gonna click this one right here. All right, so we'll say that that is the path um, and the, that's the end of the path, all right? So what we do now, and by the way, you can add uh, another path here and you can also add conditions, but you have to upgrade to that. So I'm not doing that right now. Um, now we can add another block after, like what happens after they complete that? So you can ask a multiple choice question. You can give them opinion scale, a yes or no question. Uh, a bunch of stuff. So let's just do a, an uh, opinion scale. Um, how easy was it to find a course? I don't know, all right. You can add notes and image. Um, then we could do this like, uh, because it's a, it's a scale, we have our scale from X to whatever. Um, and you, it gives you a preview of what the user will see. So on a scale of zero, we can make it start at one instead. Uh, so it goes from one to 10. Um, we could say very easy on the far left, um, moderate, and then very hard or something like that, or very difficult. Um, and then you could change some other options down here. Um, and that's pretty good right there. So now we're going to add another block. So this is just a question that kind of asks them what they thought about this particular mission, so to speak. So let's add another, um, mission right here. So for this mission, we can see by default, it has the current path one set to the last screen that we chose, which is helpful. Um, let's give this a task name of um, main UI. We'll just give it a, a task title of main UI, maybe user interface. Go back to the main user interface, something like that. Uh, and then we click on this X button and we can see there it is. That's all we want them to do. We wanna see how easy it is for them if they're on that page, just a fly flying around, for them to figure out how to get off of that page. And of course that would involve clicking the X. Um, so that would be another mission. So then after that, we can add you know any number of these things. So it depends on how, this is obviously a very simple example, so we're not gonna have much. Um, but then you could probably just add up, uh, uh, a follow-up, an open question. Uh, what did you think about our app? All right, um, you can put an image and, and uh, text base, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just say that that is it. Uh, so now we can go ahead and click preview. And this will put you into the seat of an actual tester, but this is just for preview and it doesn't count as tests towards your project. And you'll see why that's important. Um, so let's click get started. And then it says find a course. So this is the very first mission that I designated. Find a course, visit the first course you see and read the details. So we're gonna hit get started for that mission. So let's find the course. All right, well, there's not a course here. Let's hit get uh, started. This technically is like the first course really, um, but I kind of screwed that up. So let's just say they end up finding this 
and yay, that's the end of the mission. So it says, well done, you completed this mission. It would be nice to maybe uh, control this page, you know, if there's text here that you can control, I'm not sure. We'll hit continue. Now, how easy was it to find a course? So that you're really kind of delving into specifically their mindset and getting feedback, very necessary feedback if you want to optimize things as much as possible. So we'll just say like seven and continue. So now we have another mission because that's what we designated in the flow within Maze. So main user interface, go back to the main user interface. It sounds, you know, like, duh, we know the click to X, but sometimes we make assumptions and a lot of times they're wrong. So how do I go back to the main user interface? Do I click off here? I should be able to do that. So maybe that would be feedback that they would have. I want to be able to, I don't, I don't want to have to click this little X, you know? So mission's done. You completed this mission, hit continue. What did you think about our app? I, I thought it was just absolute junk because you know, you'll get comments like that. Hit continue. Thank you. You completed our maze and we couldn't be more grateful, blah, blah, blah. Um, so now at this point, if you're happy with that flow after testing it yourself, you can click start testing. And it says, you can't make any changes to your mace after this step. Make sure everything is okay to proceed. So that's kind of strange to me. Maybe it's because I, I'm, I'm like a free user and I'm not upgraded, but I would like the ability to take a test or take a, a, an actual maze setup like we just set up here and edit it in the future. Maybe they allow you to do that if you're an actual paid customer. I'm not sure though. Confirm and start testing. We'll click that. And your maze is live. That's like a, that's a cool, I like that animation there, by the way, that was very cool. Um, share it with people so that they can visit and test your maze. Uh, return here to view results in your unique UX report. So we can copy your maze link, which is right here. All right, so you can do test tracking. Uh, you can do unique sessions, only well, allow only one unique session per test or device. So there's a lot of stuff here that we can do. You can hire testers if you don't have them. That's obviously important. Uh, order results from our curated panel. So how many testers do you want? Uh, let's say we wanted 100 testers. $285. That's a lot of money. Uh, but then again, if you're working, with, if you're a big company, you find that you know you might find that valuable. I personally would probably try to find my own testers. Uh, for that particular purpose, but that's pretty that's pretty wild. But again, if you're really serious about a product, I uh, and you know you have a solid plan for monetization, you know you, you put you invest money into it. I uh, so social networks share your maze. Um, so ultimately, once you get testers, and I guess you can have five testers, you can see the results of each of the reports, and you also get kind of like probably uh, a whole report that's kind of just combines all the data from all the testers, which would be helpful in order to spot areas that you probably should improve. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that and learned something new. I, I think I really want to get into usability a little bit more, actually a lot more. And I think I might use something like a, a service like this to actually show a real world case study where... I throw a bunch of testers at it and maybe it'll be like a community project uh, over several videos and we can see ultimately, are our assumptions correct? Are there uh, points that we completely didn't think of that perhaps the testers uh, shined a light on? All right, so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. As always, make sure to ah, subscribe, I can't talk. Oh, click that new applaud button, man. Uh, it's really cool. Anyways, I'll see you soon, goodbye. <laughs>